again everyone and welcome back to another anime figure unboxing and once again this video would not be possible if it wasn't for those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan so for all of your anime figure needs make sure to check out that link down there in the description now let's get to the unboxing and today I'm going to be unboxing the Universal Mage Aludra from Chain Chronicle and this is a figure by Alpha Max and this is a company that has released a lot of awesome figures so this is something I'm really looking forward to taking a look at so before actually unboxing this let's take a quick look around the box. Through the window there on the front of the box you can see the figure itself which looks phenomenal to say the least. And seriously who needs pictures on the front of the box when the figure just looks that damn good. On the left hand side of the box we have another window as well as this picture of the figure and as you can see this is an insanely good looking figure. Now on the left hand side of the box we've got another window and down here a blurb about the game and the character and around here on the back is some pictures of what it will look like out of the box and that looks so damn good. So let's not waste any more time let's bust this thing open and see what we've got. So again with the tape murder, here we go. There's number one, number two, and there's the last one. So this looks simple enough to open up, but then again I always say that, not too bad. That is a sick shade of pink. And out it comes. There's the assembly instructions down there at the bottom, and there they are, and it seems with Alpha Max, they're only in Japanese. So there's a quick look at the inner packaging, and so far this looks great, so now Let's get it out of there. And of course, a hell of a lot of tape on here as usual. There's one side. And there is side number two. Now let's see how easy this comes out. Maybe I should do that sideways. So let's attempt that again. And I seem to have missed a piece of tape. Ah, the sneaky fecker was on the bottom. So there's that off. Some extra plastic packaging here. Also down here on the base. And the colors there are spectacular. Next, her witch hat. And again, that looks so good. And next, the figure itself. And as you can see, there's a lot of extra parts, packaging all around this. But so far, it looks incredibly detailed. I think that's everything. And lastly, just in behind her there, surprisingly with no tape, is the staff. Now finally onto the assembly, and there is the base. And man, the colors here just look so good. So now the figure should attach on there, and that was pretty simple. Now next is her wand. I did call it a staff before, but according to the box, it's a wand. But in my opinion, that seems a little bit on the long side for a wand. But hey, wand it is. And that attaches into her hand something like this. And I have to say, there are some scary ass nails right there. Next up is the witch's hat with that awesome skull and as you can see it's exactly fitted to her head. So I guess that should attach on quite easily. So on having a bit of trouble with the hat I realized I attached the wand incorrectly. So apparently that should slide down underneath her hair first and then into her hand. Just like that right there. So now there should be no trouble attaching the hat. That is actually magnetized on there so that is pretty damn cool. And as for the last skull that should attach onto the brim of her hat. Let's see if I can get Get that on there I think that's right try to stop that from moving and there it is so that is it for my unboxing of the 1-8 scale Eludra from Chain Chronicle. The magnetic hat actually reminded me that this isn't the first Alpha Max figure I've seen, as I also have Alpha Max's Sorceress from Dragon's Crown which has the same magnetic hat. And so far I have to say I'm very, very impressed by the quality of the figures released by this company. As far as I know they're relatively new, but man their figures look fantastic. And this one right here looks incredible as well. So thank you for watching and if you want yourself one of these, make sure to check out that link down there in the description. Description. If you'd like to see more Alpha Max stuff on here, then hit that like button to let me know. And as always, make sure to come back if you want to see more anime figure unboxings. So I'll see you next time.